and welcome back guys today I'm on Dragon Individual Professional 15 on the PC and I want to look at the option when you can transcribe audio files be it from your own audio or from lectures or maybe it's a speaker or interview so let's get straight down to it now I've created a folder here if I open it up and click sample audio I've got three different recordings here I'm just going to drag this out for you I'm recording from my iPhone 6S which is M4A format the Olympus Dictaphone which is WAV format which is PCM on the Dictaphone and also recording an MP3 now the third recording here is directly from YouTube so I haven't used a device to record that from the other two I have and I want to see how they come out so I'm going to close that and I'll show you that with Folder Agent later where you can do multiple audio files and transcribe them I want you to come up to top first. Now you need to create profiles. It's not good to use your own profile if it's someone else's voice. So go to profile and select new user profile. And there's my current profile used for dictation. Now I want to create a new one. Select new. Say it's a lecture you're going to and his name's Dr. Smith. And click next. So make sure as it's not going to be your voice you're dictating, select this profile to transcribe recordings of someone else speaking and then give it a name. It could be a lecturer's name of the person. So I'm just going to put Dr. Smith. Now click next. It's going to set up a profile specifically for that person. Make sure you choose the correct accent. Accent not otherwise specified works really well, so choose that if it's an unusual accent or you're not sure about the accent. But I leave it on standard and click next. It's so now going to create a profile specifically for that speaker and then we can import an audio file from those samples I showed you earlier and we'll see how it transcribes it. Now you can choose what you want to do here but they like to grab a bit of information so they can improve the audio and transcripts to make increase accuracy. So it's up to you. So they get analytics as well but I normally put don't enable this. You can always change it at a later date and click next. And we're done. Click finish. So now it's saving the profile. Give it a second. And it'll come up with Dragon Help Center. And it'll go step by step on how to actually transcribe your files. If you come down the bottom here, you can see technical requirements for audio files. You can only use WAV, which is raw format, MP3, WMA, DSS, or DS2, which is Olympus as well. You've also got M4A, we can use your iPhone or iPad but you've got a minimum rate of 16,000 kilohertz so bear that in mind as well now if I go back up to profile and select open user profile I'm now on Dr Smith's profile for transcribing so I want you to go to tools and select transcribe recording Now this window will pop up Now what it needs there is you to put the actual audio file in for it to transcribe so before we do anything else come down the bottom here automatically add commas and periods this will try and add commas and periods where it thinks they should be now it's not always accurate but it does give you a basis you can always go back over and add them afterwards now when you select options as well at the bottom there now if you're actually dictating yourself and you might use this option here only a dictation command so as you're speaking dictating to be an iPhone or dictaphone you could say new line all caps that and so on so you can add your commands and that way when you actually transcribe and it will add those commands from your audio into real time in your document so you get your new line and punctuation and commands also down here you can also add the command scratch that and resume with scratch that the least last after you said so I think what they're saying here is if you've got a dictaphone or phone and you're getting notes down and then you think oh it's not what I really want instead of you having to delete it or go back you'd say scratch that afterwards and that will delete the last utterance when there was no gaps also resume with so you can resume so if you're saying something you might think oh no actually I want to go back and resume from a specific point you could resume from that word by saying resume with and the word so that can be quite useful now here consider adjusting the speed for the accuracy and let me show you that quickly because it can make a big difference come back up to dragon bar select tools option at the bottom and I want you to select here miscellaneous tab at the moment it's on fastest response now I'm going to drag that three quarters see if that approved the accuracy for us and click apply and OK let's see how good it will transcribe so I'm going to open up tools and select again transcribe recording let me choose my recording now I'm using Dr Smith so all those three files we save from Dr Smith so I'm going to click browse and if I go to my desktop I should have that there in transcribing samples 
So as I said before, all these samples I have in here, if I open up folder agent, are from different formats. Again, if I drag this along, I've got iPhone 6 M4A, Olympus Dictaphone Way, which I recorded the same YouTube channel on all of them using that hardware and the last one is direct from YouTube so I've used no hardware just recorded using internal source so I'm going to try iPhone 6 first and click open output text file now I need to change that you can't export it to the same folder so what I could do in that folder is add a new folder and just call that iPhone so when I come back to it and click enter and click open and click save now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to select the transcribe button. Give a little while depending on the size of your file. And there we go, it's done. So you can see it's asking me how I want to open it. I can use Dragon Pad, which is the internal word processor, or I can open it up with Microsoft Word, or I can send it to Clipboard, which is the same as Control C, copy and paste or you can do nothing else and just leave the file as it is but I actually want to open it up in Word so I'm going to click done and it should automatically open up in my Word document and we can see the accuracy from the iPhone now I used the iPhone from about 3 metres away and then played the YouTube channel and recorded it now I'm looking at that and it don't look too great so what I'm going to do is open up the original folder so you can have a listen yourself Friends. Thank you for joining the Philomathian Society this evening as we celebrate 200 years of raising hell with our brains. Sometimes in a rather literal way. Um, my name is Paul Mitchell and I'm a member of the you can see that doesn't even look close, does it? So I'm going to close that. So the iPhone recording didn't come up too well, but I have just was recording from a small speaker from my PC. So bear that in mind as well. So next, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to open up Transcribe Recording, Browse, but this time I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use the Dictaphone option. Now my Dictaphone option was a WAV format, which was uncompressed, and you can see the size difference. So if I go over iPhone 6, you can see the size of that, which is half a megabyte to 12 megabytes. So obviously quality makes a big difference, but how much? So I'm going to open that up and do the same. I'm going to browse and export it to a new folder again. This time I'm just going to call this Olympus. And click open and save. And now I'm going to transcribe this. And again, I'm going to open it up with Microsoft Word and select done. That took around two minutes to do, but it's only over a minute long. So let's have a look at that as well. That's a bit better, but again, it's not getting all the actual audio transcribed, is it? It seems to be stopping, but I think the accuracy is still better, so let me have a check on that. So I'm going to open up Olympus Dictaphone, play it back. Friends. Thank you for joining the Philomathian Society this evening as we celebrate 200 years of raising hell with our brains. Sometimes in a rather literal way. Um, my name is Paul Mitchell and I'm a member of the Philomathian Society. And again, that hasn't picked up too well and that was a dictaphone. So last of all, I've got direct from YouTube. And I'll see how well that picks up. Now bear in mind, it does depend on the quality of the recording the actual and who you're actually recording. So this time I'm going to use the third option. I'll get tools, again, transcribe recording, browse, and again, this time I'm going to use the YouTube option. And that was direct from YouTube. So select YouTube, and again, browse to export it. So again, I'm going to create a new folder, and just call that YouTube. Now this should be a lot better as it's direct and there's no interference and click open and save now I'm going to transcribe that and again let's choose what we want to save it as so again 
Open Microsoft Word and select Done. Now let's have a look at that. Now that looks a lot better. So I'm going to open up the original file, YouTube, and play it back. Friends, thank you for joining the Philomathian Society this evening as we celebrate 200 years of raising hell with our brains. Sometimes in a rather literal way. Um, my name is Paul Mitchell, and I am a member of the Philomathian Society and its annual oration director this year. Now, tonight we are convened. And you can see it's not 100% accurate. There's quite a few errors there. I'd say looking at quickly, it's probably about 70%, 75% accurate. Again, it's something you've got to try out, whatever environment you're in. If it's got a really good dictaphone or recording with a external mic off your iPhone it might be a lot better but as I say try it out yourself because you might get different results now last thing I want to show you quickly come up to tools option and you've got an option called auto transcribe folder agent now this will transcribe multiple audio files for you into whatever format you want be it into a text format now you can work this without even using Dragon, but bear in mind when you use the folder agent it won't work unless Dragon is closed, just to let you know. So once you open it, don't worry about closing Dragon yet, click plus to find a folder that you want to actually transcribe with all the audio files. All the audio files have to be in one folder, you can't have subfolders in there, it won't pick them up. So I'm going to select input folder and we know where my one is. It's transcribing and it's the folder agent one and click OK. And you need an output folder. So I'm going to select, scroll down, I'm going to create a new folder and call these results. And we should get the same results as I did independently before. And click OK. Next you need to choose the name of the person you want to transcribe. So I've just used this example, Dr. Smith. We'd have different profiles. That's my profile for dictation and that's for transcribing. Again, I'll leave vocabulary as default and it tells you what formats you can use here at the bottom. See it says dictation source and that tells you which formats you're allowed to use. Also, we want to actually export to. I can do a plain text, rich text format or Word document. So I'm going to export them all to a Word document. Last we've got a command line here which will actually email to tell you all your transcriptions are finished. You can find the path of your email client. If you click help and scroll down, it will tell you exactly how to do it at the bottom here. Command line generates an email when the transcription is complete using Microsoft Exchange 2000 server or simple mail transfer protocol or Lotus Notes. I tend to use SMTP anyway but you can find the actual source and then add that if you want as well. So what I do is click OK. Now as you can see it's idle. If I press this button it does nothing. Click it again it won't do a thing. So what you need to do is close Dragon first so it doesn't interfere with the profile. Select exit. Once Dragon closes, we can then transcribe that into text. Now select a little option here, it says enable agent. And you can see it's starting to enable. And at the bottom it will tell you if I zoom in when it's actually transcribing each individual audio file within that folder for you, which it's doing now. While I'm here, this is how you add your folders here. You can use this option here to edit your folder. You might want to delete an audio file in there. Or you can remove your whole folders. Or if you've got multiple folders, you can put them in different orders that you want them to be transcribed. And this will disable it, and this is the help option. You see to the right here my dictation source is the transcription source I'm using. So while it's doing that the first one, I'm actually going to pull this down and open up the folder as it's working. And it shouldn't affect it go to folder agent and have a look at results and you can see it's working away so there's the first one it's done and at the bottom it's still transcribing which will then be doing my Olympus one so again if I open up the Word document it should be identical when I tried to transcribe it before which I think it pretty much is so let it finish all the transcriptions and then we'll have a look at the results and that should all be done so I can now close my drag and transcribe folder agent, open up the folder, have a look at my sample audio, have a look at my folder agent and the results and there they all are. Now they should be identical so 
If we look at the MP3 option from YouTube, that should all be the text there, but not 100% accurate, maybe it's about 70 75. And again, got the Olympus recorder. Didn't catch it all. And last of all, from my iPhone success. Seem to miss out quite a lot there. But again, it does vary on your results, so play around with that because you might get better results than me. And bear in mind, if you're dictating your own voice, then the accuracy is pretty much accurate. I've tried that before. And that's quite easy to do as well. So when you actually open up Dragon, choose your main profile, select Open, and Tools, and again, Transcribe Recordings. Remember, we're using your profile now. And make sure at the top you've got your own profile, not someone else's to transcribe. And that should transcribe pretty accurate for you. I'd also help just get you up and running so you can start an experiment with it. Thanks for watching.